Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional uh, messages or information. Let's just get into it right now. Okay, so Page of Pentacles, your awareness for the week is you are thinking about perhaps learning something new. You, this is about gaining knowledge and studying and being devoted to your, to your work, perhaps. But the Page of Pentacles, this youthful energy, it desires to, to gain more knowledge, to learn the ways about life, but learning through study. So whether you are uh, embarking on a new path for a hobby or for your career, you're taking the time to learn what you need to do. And so whether you're doing research online or reading books or talking to experts, you know, there's a sense of here of gathering the information, of using the information in order to help you move forward and to move along your goals. Pentacles, earth, Yes, Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but very grounded, practical energy. So you're using this practical, common sense type of energy of using this knowledge in order to help yourself in some way. So that's a big idea for you for the week. You will also have perhaps a moment where you're having to defend your ideas or your actions or your beliefs. So the Seven of Wands, we have Fire Energy, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you can see the person on the dragon is in position here against the wands below. And so sometimes we, we have to stand up for what we believe in, stand up for what we're doing, and particularly if we introduce new things into our life, people may not always agree. And so you have to protect yourself you're in the position to be able to do so. And, you know, often there's a thinking that this could be take the high road or take the high ground. In whatever instance, this is a make sure that you stand up for yourself and to not let people walk all over you. So now we're going to look at guidance. Ooh, we got two queens. So we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is unconditional love. She is in touch with her emotions. She is intuitive. She is kind and considerate and really understands where people are coming from, pays attention, and so can go with the flow. There's wonderful qualities about this queen. So whether this is someone within your family, within your work, within your circle, it could be someone that you're hoping to date this type of peaceful, flowing, loving energy. Someone who is seeking the best for others. Someone who is really intuitively listening and understands where you're coming from. The Queen of Cups would be a wonderful person to go to for support. And particularly if you're having to defend yourself, you may need to share that information or at least get some feedback. The Queen of Cups would be a wonderful resource, a wonderful person to go to. If this is related to dating, again, a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Another queen. And this queen is, it's a wild outfit, but this queen really uh, enjoys her surroundings. She enjoys nature and she enjoys the nice things. And so this appreciation of beauty, of the arts, of having a beautiful environment, working hard to ensure that the environment provides harmony and peacefulness and enjoyment. So this could be a week where you are focusing on your home, you're focusing perhaps on your own wardrobe or things in the garden, uh, uh, just an opportunity to really beautify. 
Now, the Queen of Pentacles also brings this energy of being very resourceful. And so she's a master of multitasking. She is, again, very compassionate as well, nurturing, common sense, grounded type of energy, and uh, can find a great deal at the flea market and turn it into something really wonderful. So she's smart with her money, smart with her finances, smart with handling the obligations. So this would be telling us is not only to uh, listen to the intuitive, loving side of friends or to, to show that, but to work your plan, uh, work on things that are going to make you feel comfortable and make you feel pleasure, and you also get a sense of nurturing. The Queen of Pentacles can be someone who would, you know, know that a friend or family member maybe is under the weather and would bring over some soup or to make a call, how can I help you, reaching out. We're seeing a lot of support here with these queens providing support. Okay, so now let's choose possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of feeling content and feeling happy with what you have built or created, the comforts of your home, the results of your hard work. Whatever it may be, you have nine full cups and you are taking a moment to enjoy them and to think about, gee, a lot went behind here to get to this place. I'm going to make the most of it. So this is a card of feeling satisfied with what you are doing. This is a card of wish fulfillment. So to make a wish, to set a clear intention that this wish is very possible of coming true. So interesting with the cups, energy, and the pentacles, more pentacles, the six of pentacles, the idea of giving and receiving. When you're in a position to give, give, give of your time, your energy to be of service. When you are in, when you are in times of need, when you need a hand, when you need someone to listen to, you know, the Six of Pentacles is going to be the person to help out and to give. So however you see yourself in this, uh, in this illustration, in this card, because what we have here is we do have the opportunity here for a lot of support with these queens of providing support. And perhaps you're now in a position here after the Nine of Cups where you feel that you're able to return the favor and to provide support as well to someone else, to be of service to someone else. So what we don't see in this reading, we don't see swords. We're not seeing um, any major arcana cards. So I feel that this is just kind of a uh, working through things in your life, the daily stuff that we deal with, that this is how you're handling it and it's about studies and defending yourself and capturing the energies of the queens, the pentacles and the cups, emotionally, intuitive, as well as grounded in being stable and making the most of the things that you have. Wish fulfillment, and here's the opportunity to, to support someone else, to be giving for someone else. Let's get a little more information from the oracle cards, and this will be a practice area or uh, focus area for the week. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selflessness, humility, conscious action. A beautiful, beautiful card. And again, it's the idea of service, of providing support of reaching out to others, of being compassionate, of paying attention to others' emotions as well as your own. And if you need support, asking for it. 
But the conscious action, again, there's conscious action with the Six of Pentacles. That's reaching out and helping, choosing to make a difference in someone else's life. The Queen of Cups providing unconditional, selfless love. Queen of Pentacles nurturing, grounded, stable energy. Let's see what we have for you uh, in terms of spirit or emotional self. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. So here, this real idea of support and of love and tenderness provided So whether you are receiving support or you have received the support that you need and now you're in a position to be able to share it and to return it. These are powerful messages coming through. And finally, let's get a sense of love for you. True love luck, true love. So perhaps you are involved and this is a confirmation of that, of true love. If you're looking for love, keep your eyes open and perhaps through service you meet someone. This could also be the true love and the true unconditional love of friends and family, those that support you, those that have your back, those that are nurturing and caring, that, they're, that are coming from a place of true love. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. And I hope you have an amazing week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.